Design, and this is episode one, featuring singer, songwriter, illustrator, and Viz Dev House leader Migu. Hello. Hi, hi. Okay, so I, I just wanted to start off this by saying, like, Migu was probably, I, I think you were the first person that I met on this Discord server, right? Yeah, yeah, I think we. Yeah, because I remember everybody was in one of the studios. It was like 40 people in there. <laughs> and then I, I think Aaliyah was also there in the in a different server. Yeah. Do you remember? We were in two. We were in Recess 3. We were in Recess 1, and then a lot of people just suddenly joined. So we just um, moved from from there to Feliz because we were kind of overwhelmed by the amount of people oh. that was inside. I mean, there's like 16, <laughs> 16 different conversations happening but i yeah i don't know the fir first day on this server and all i remember was singing wonderwall with with migu here and everybody clapping at the end that that's why i put singer songwriter in his description just a heads up <laughs> <laughs> okay but anyway let, let's let's get let's get to the nitty-gritty the the art stuff Oof. So, Migu, the first question I have for you is, when did you start drawing, and what do you think got you to start drawing? Ooh, okay, when did I start drawing? I think I started drawing when I was around 17 years old. It was, pretty far, far, it was fairly late into my life. I wasn't, like, a very drawing kid, like, from, like like elementary school I, I didn't like to draw um or i guess i liked it but it wasn't something that crossed my head that i was gonna do a lot um and i started drawing because i was in a technical high school um i i went in there to get like a technical degree in like electronics and mechanics because i wanted to be an engineer at some point um, but I had a really, really boring teacher um, that was teaching a class about engines. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that was it. And I, at first, I wouldn't go to his class and I would just read the books on my own. Um, but then they told me that I had to go because I was just on my limit of like absence. Um, in that class, so I had to go or else I was going to fail. Um, but since he was very boring, I just started drawing <laughs> in his class. Wait, so you, so you were just um, like drawing like, at, like a random piece of paper during like lecture or something? Yeah, I was oh, just drawing. Okay. Like, well, think, <laughs> yeah, you know, we've all been there, I think. But but 17 years yeah. old, that, that, that is pretty late. Be typically, because when yeah. I hear people like talk about uh, when they started drawing, it's like usually on the younger side, but 17. Yeah, it was my last year. It was my last semester of, of high school before going into college. So it was a very big deal that I just suddenly found something else that I wanted to do rather than keep going into engineering of some sort. Um, I wanted to study physics uh, at some point too. Um, but then the teacher was so boring. I swear to God, it was like three hours of me sitting there just drawing a lot in paper. And I had a friend who, um, he was really into um, reading fan fiction of stuff on DeviantArt. Uh -oh. And he told uh -oh. me about DeviantArt. <laughs> yeah, he told, me, he told me about DeviantArt. And I did never heard of this amazing site. And he told me, give me your drawings and I will publish them and uh, I will credit you. And I was like, all right, all right. Uh, and he did. Um, they're really bad, ugly um, pencil drawings. I thought I was really good. Um, <laughs> but looking back, it's kind of not so good. Um, but then he convinced me into making a DeviantArt account. Uh, and I started posting myself. I started drawing um, on Photoshop um, because of I started looking at videos, tutorials to how to draw digitally because I didn't want to spend money on colors because I didn't have any money. Um, and so I taught digitally it was like a good way. Um, there wasn't as many um, um, uh, tools out there back in the day as there are now. It's just like been like eight years ago. Um, so it 
it was hard. I drew a lot, a long time with my mouse. Um, but Wait, that's your mouse? You, you drew with your yeah, mouse? With Pinterest. Pinterest. Yeah, in Photoshop with my mouse. I wow. had a lot of mouse drawings. Um, that summer felt like an eternity because I learned so much about like what I was doing. And then I just decided I wanted to do something that wasn't really like engineering or physics. And I went into graphic design, specifically editorial design. Um, oh, like um, like art for newspapers and stuff like that. Yeah, I I design books and magazines and stuff like that layouts. Yeah, I'm actually I'm I'm dabbling in that myself a little bit actually. Yeah, it's really fun. Know, it, yeah, it's really interesting. But so for a time you were posting art through like a third party, like your friend was posting art for you. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he 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 was very nice about it. He was like, I think he encouraged me a lot, which is weird because we weren't really that close. Um, really? He was <laughs> Just... it. Yeah, no, like at all. I didn't think we were that close. Or at least um, I was kind of the kind of kid who just like kind of hung out with like various groups of kids. It wasn't like a core group. Um uh, it wasn't like core part of any group, so so I knew him, and he is a re he's a good friend, but we weren't that close in the sense that we were like very like um, encouraging of each other, um, even less like in a in a in a school like the way the one I went. We were kind of mean to each other all the time, but he was like nice enough to show me about DeviantArt and tell me about it and like. Because he he used to do a lot of origami and he would like post it on 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 there like he would make a bunch of stars and really intricate uh, paper stuff and he, that's what he would post. Um, but he had a scanner. I didn't have a scanner, so he would scan my drawings and he would post up until I finally like... decided to make an account. Okay, th those are actually like some humble beginnings there. Like you weren't even posting your own art. I think that's pretty cool that he like yeah. supported you, even though like you didn't even know. Yeah. About it. <laughs> like really, <laughs> like he just saw you drawing. Yeah. Was like, hey, let me post that for you, man. It's like sure. Yeah, he was. He was very nice. Um. Yeah, I think that was like the very very beginning of that. Um. It was. It was kind of weird too because um yeah I, I also didn't know how to speak in english a lot um so i would just post and not say a lot but that summer i met a friend from playing a game called little big planet I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know that game. Yep. <laughs> yeah i met a friend called uh riley and they were from canada and they knew a little bit of spanish um and they helped me a lot learning English. So I learned English through playing Little Big Planet and talking to them. And I also made like then we would like became very good friends and would Skype uh, a lot every day uh, while I was drawing and doing like stupid stuff with my mouse on Photoshop. But yeah, it was it was it was hard <laughs> doing I stuff. Mean, at the beginning, like drawing on on a mouse. Well, okay. So, yeah, so, and, like uh... pirated version of. Photoshop. I mean, like, who has who hasn't pirated Photoshop? Come on, that stuff yeah. is too way too expensive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For real. okay. For okay, for my next question, I you said like so you started drawing near the end of high school, right? Yeah. So did you ever like planned on attending an art school like a traditional one, or have you? I think I wanted to go into an art school but i think i had a lot of pressure from my family too because there was this thing about like um my brother not my brother was first like also very good and studious and then he decided to study like history and like my mom was like no no you're not gonna get any job as a historian you know uh, it's like nobody hired those kinds of like jobs, um, just like knowing a lot of history about Mexico. Um, and and I had like this pressure of like, 
because he she would always be like oh yeah he, your brother is gonna study in like engineering and stuff and so i i wanted to go into an art school but the thing that back in the day also the art school i wanted like the only one that was available close to my home um didn't have a very good reputation so i decided to go into another kind of curriculum that was that i thought was going to be a little bit more um useful for me which was like something um in like a graphic design side of things because they also had like a, a like a branch where you could like take uh, 3d and 3d animation and i did those and i really liked them but i uh during my time in uh, college i really dived into editorial design which is the thing i like the most well i'd like the most at that point um i forgot a little bit about drawing for a bit like i went in because i like to draw and during that i really like design as a thing like as a whole concept and i just really like brand design and um editorial design and information design specifically too um infographics and stuff like that and and then I had another class that was like, oh, yeah, illustration, digital illustration, which was still a new kind of thing that was happening when I was in college. Um, and and I went back into it. I already had a tablet by that time, um, that same oh, so, summer so that I did so many. Yeah, that, that summer that I did so many drawings with a mouse, I that was the same summer that I bought a tablet, but it was like by the end of the summer. Um, yeah, it was like, it was a Wacom Bamboo fun. Um, <laughs> uh, it was Wacom. like really small. It was great. Yeah, the, the Wacom. Yeah, I don't um, know how to pronounce it either, to be honest. Wacom, yeah, I don't know. Wacom, <laughs> Wacom. Wacom. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like this really ugly tablet that that served for so many years its purpose to do art. Um, and then and then I just got out of college, and I met a lot of people on Discord and Twitch that were artists. Uh, I met a, tw a Twitch artist that I joined um, on uh, like their server. Um, there was so many artists and i never met so many people that were doing like art and i was like wow like this is very inspiring and very encouraging and i started doing it like more often and like i was working doing design and then i was doing like art on the side yeah okay so my next question is like mm -hmm. besides like you know, drawing with a mouse. Have you experienced any other struggles that you haven't mentioned yet when it comes to art? Oof. Um, not having a proper art education was like really hard, like being completely self-taught. Um, 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 Again, my mom, uh, my family is not was not very supportive of this kind of thing. Like uh, being an artist, it's all that. It's just, eh. um, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. it was not. It, yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, difficult. We, we, yeah, it's, it's it's weird telling them, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, what do you do for a living? It's like I drew things. I draw things. <laughs> and then they come to you like, oh, could you do a painting? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, so it just it was like those kinds of struggles mostly. Um, um, in the actuality is um, yeah, it's 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 most it's mostly that like there wasn't besides uh just drawing with like a mouse or or it's always been just like that feeling of not being good enough at something so you just try to push harder but hopefully i had very good friends that were like very good and very nice and very encouraging all the time i will always like uh cross paths with artists that are like very very inspiring um right now through open animation as well um but yeah it's it's been really i've been really lucky in that sense I know, right? There's like, there's so many good people here in open animation. 
Like honestly, yeah. everybody here is so yeah. good. It's crazy. Yeah, it's it's so cool. <laughs> it makes me want to try every art style. It's like, oh, <laughs> that person does so much line work, and it's like, oh, this person is painterly, and I'm like, oh man. <laughs> okay, so um, on a oh, I heard your dog. Uh, on a brighter note, it's like, what do you think is your like favorite part, or like your most successful thing that has to relate to you or your art? Ooh, the brightest thing, most. Wait. All right, can you repeat that again? Oh, sorry. It's like, what is like your biggest success with art or your most favorite thing about art that you do? My favorite thing about art that you do? I don't know. That's a difficult question. Um, I feel like... So I'm still trying to figure things out with my own art. But Fair. I think... I think the thing that makes me, I think I like to make people happy with my art. I make really cute stuff <laughs> and I try oh, yeah. to uh, make, I've seen the Twitter. Yes. <laughs> and I try to make cute stuff just for, because I really like to make other people happy. Um, I think the most successful thing, if, if I'm allowed to say this, um if if it's like fair to say this i think i think um the people that i met again like through art is just like being my favorite this thing because i oh, love to migu, talk to people. Migu, migu. i love i love <laughs> meeting people I, I really love meeting people like like i know so many artists now and i know so many people um that I just admire so much and it's so much fun to just getting to know them and like it's good it's good like I think my favorite part about art is just meeting artists for real I don't know it's kind of true it's kind of true there's a lot of cool people there's a lot of cool people out there that also do art you know yeah like definitely I, I feel like I don't know it just it just what a, ah, what a corny not, answer. What a, I know, what a I know. corny I'm, answer, dude. Nah, nah, you I'm, just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you won't realize that down the time, like, I might be very chaotic once people, like, once I get comfortable with people, but I'm actually, like, like a really soft heart Jeez. person. I'm like, and everybody um, here is soft hearted. Migu is a nice person, <laughs> a great person. <laughs> Soft on the inside, like a like a crab. Soft <laughs> on the inside, chaotic on the outside. Yeah, like covered in spikes and got all like, <laughs> these pinches on the outside. Hey, okay, I'm, okay, okay. I'm sorry to compare you to a crab. That's the. That's the that <laughs> don't, don't take that the wrong way. But are you? We're just gonna move on. <laughs> we're just gonna. Okay. Is the team of today? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for my next question. What, what do you think your biggest inspiration was in terms of art? Ooh, in terms of art. Or just like in general, you know, anybody like out there that just really inspires you. Mm. Okay, I think back in the day when i was doing art and i was starting out and i started learning saikra yasin it's a youtuber um does like art tutorials was a big part of it um i think i i managed to met, met like before like twitch was a thing well i don't think i think it was already a thing but it wasn't as big uh there was this site called um live stream it was co- literally called live stream um and there was like psychiasin would make um the was making the i don't know it, he had a very weird stream where he would invite people into skype to chat and and i there wasn't that many people back in the day in that stream so it was like only five of us um, and they would invite us and it was crazy to me because for me they were like amazing artists that I met 
and and like him and um cynics design um um i don't think they will ever remember me if i just like go in and like do twitter and they're like hey it's me hey, do you remember, do you remember? Me? <laughs> yeah no because it was like oh, once or twice and it was like just us talking about whatever about call of duty black ops uh and oh, stuff yeah, like the, that the essentials of course the, the, the real hard yeah yeah. Here. yeah <laughs> yeah the hard hitting but they, they were so nice into explaining things about art to us um that was like very back in the day um i feel like right now i am very inspired again by the the people i meet but especially by like the friends that i met that are like doing these amazing projects um I talked about this before. I have a friend called Art Pages um, on Twitter. Um, um, they are like doing 3D art for Hades. Um, I have a friend called um, Gloria Felix um, also on Twitter. Um, they're Mexican, they do art. They have done like art for like, uh, I think a Pixar uh, show that was like, um, like Fort Coco. Uh, like they made like a scenography and stuff like that for like <clears throat> a, a very a musical show i'm not sure um but they do they they are like um visual development um and they do like background design for like a very popular animated show here in mexico um so they are like i don't know the people i met and they are nice enough to like like reciprocate reciprocate that the friendship i guess um um uh yeah there's a lot of people um emma there they have a friend called emma who did um kid lit for um um for climate change um uh kid lit for climate emma reynolds um and they have done a book called rescue mrs bride barely um, and one about bats and they're like, so, so, so inspiring. Um, like f doing like important stuff with their art, like whether it's like making stuff for entertainment industry or like, uh, pushing out like, um, more art that is like very traditionally in Mexican, um, or making amazing games um or making like i don't know their art and making them into a, a statement uh, for climate uh, change and like uh, climate justice um which is like very inspiring like to be honest um a friend called jenny um sleepiest design uh she's a breaking human and i think they're like the nicest people i i i not to not i met to that to date um wait so um, you have you haven't met this person no 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 i have met them um oh. well we're friends we're we're friends um they're from the, from um the uk um i think they're the nicest person um they're very good friends i'm really lucky to have them as friends um they do very cute art um, they do very good streams. Uh, they do also a lot of D&D stuff. Uh, they submerge me into a lot of D&D, um, a TTRPG related content. Um, uh, I think thanks to them, I or else I wouldn't be like it's so into it um, right now. So yeah, those are the people who inspire me right now. I feel like wait, so, so you've, you've met you've met or like talked to all of these people, right? yeah that's pretty crazy yeah is there like is there like somebody that you really look up to but you haven't had like the pleasure of meeting them yet oh that's a very good one i think someone i really look up to and i haven't been able to talk to them i feel like the way i work I just really enjoy talking so much to people that like the people I look up most to is the people I like talked about who they are. 
So I don't think I have like I of course I love every like a lot of artists um that are I think that, like are amazing. Like I don't know. Um but I think like thinking about it right now, I don't think I have like an artist that I having like that I just really, really, really look up to, but I haven't been able to talk to them. Um, I think if I had to choose one, I I think I would say, um, I think I would say, I don't know. It's really difficult. Maybe I like, think a, like, a, like a big time director, you know, maybe big time artist, like any of them. Oh, I know who. I think I would love to one day talk to, um, what is his name oh my god why did i suddenly just forgot um he does like these little he made these little ghosts uh animation oh uh, I, uh, um, louis louis Zong, I think is who you're yeah, yeah 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 louis yeah 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 exactly yeah yeah i think uh, his art is so charming also because i think he worked as a as a storyboard artist for we bear bears and I love Bear. Oh, you, you love that show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love Bear, and I love that show. Bears in San Francisco. I mean, yeah. Well, what's not to like, you know? It's pretty cute. <laughs> and they're making wee baby bears now, so I'm pretty I, excited I about saw that. that. I saw that on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super I'm into so, it. Hey, Louie, if, if for some reason you're listening to this, just come say hi to my boy Migu, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That would be amazing, dude. Uh, yeah, well, I think well, hey, well, hey, one one can dream, right? I would I would die. I think him and also um I help moderate a thing called multiverse, um a Discord called multiverse, which is like um um one of the creators, I don't know how to pronounce their name, their name is Sara. They make a lot of like um um I can I can wait this person. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I don't wanna dis destroy it. Um but yeah, they they make they make like amazing illustrations and um um comics and they're like pretty chaotic and I think I look up to them so much because of how chaotic they are. <laughs> I, I you know I have anticipated that the chaos when you when you started talking about it's like migu and chaos they they kind of go hand in hand if, if you would like yeah. an example if you would like an example of the stuff that migu says please take a visit into the studio three voice chat and and <laughs> feel free to peruse everything that migu has posted in there. oh no <laughs> okay. the sonic the sonic stuff is my uh, nope, is my nope. <laughs> okay we're not talking about that okay, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, focus, focus. focus. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so do you have any art tips for anybody listening here? Like, do you have a like a secret method that only you know about? A secret resource, maybe? Oof. I think I don't have a secret for art. I think some one thing that I would have liked someone to tell me is that. It's okay to make art just to make art. I don't know. I feel like a lot of t people right now get so caught up into always being trying to improve that sometimes you forget the art just to experiment art. Um, I don't know. Come, I feel like this is coming from me that my like objective side like objective designer side which is like oh yeah every has everything has to have a function and stuff like that um i feel like sometimes it's okay to just let go um make in something that you just enjoy because you enjoy it um um you don't have to have a reason to like to draw something um or a reason to draw anything really um i just as long as you're having fun um, and another thing, I feel like another secret is like r surround yourself a lot with the people that inspire you, um, that challenge you is very important. 
um, people that you see and you're like, oh, I want to be as good as them, like your friends that, but they're also like not putting you down. It's just like um, very important. And also be, be really, consume a lot of art and, and be really nice to like people. I feel like being nice goes a really long way and you will feel better about yourself and like always making another artist feel nice about their art is like, like nice and they will remember. I promise you, they will remember. Um, um, but yeah, just like having artist friends <clears throat> doing art because you like to fail a lot. I don't know. It's just like regular stuff. Um, also, yeah, I feel like that's that's as much as I can. I I, I I think it's the most enjoyable parts of like artist life that I have lived so far. You know, that actually, that was a really, really profound answer, actually, Fuku. I, I was expecting you to <laughs> make a joke about how you rotate a lot in Photoshop. I was... <laughs> Oh yeah, rotating a lot of Photoshop. That helps. Rot <laughs> Flip your canvas, kids. Uh, save your work. <laughs> no, but no, no. I think I think that what what you just said is like very like those are words to live by, especially as an artist. Like support support other artists, support yourself, and like associate with people who like like just don't like you know support you, but they kind of take it up a notch and challenge you like search for those people because that's that's what's going to help you in the long run you know yeah definitely i feel like and those are the friends that are gonna stay with you longer and yeah also don't use more than one layer you cannot draw in the wrong oh layer if you only use one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there you go hey, shout out shout out to all the painters out there all of Oof. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Miyu, you're you're currently teaching a class over in Open Animation, right? Yeah. Yeah. So mm, how? How's... Oh, wait, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. I'll, I'm we're teaching um, visual development um, together with Alia Pastiema. Shout out to Alia. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just wanted to ask, like, as a house leader or like as a teacher, I should say, like, how's that experience been treating you, and how how are you enjoying it? If you know, if you are enjoying it, like, how how do you feel about it overall? I I I've been really enjoying it. I think I feel like um it is so it is work, even if like it, it's kind of we're putting it together, kind of like really light, right? We're like trying to just get out like some fundamentals out there for people, um, get them thinking. Um, I really like to make people into like thinkers, not doers in the sense that you're not only a technical resource for people to hire you, that hire you, like you're there to solve issues, solve problems visually. Um, Ambitious development helps a lot with that. I feel like uh, like talking about like solving something visually in um, like helping the story um, and has made me think a lot like too. like it made me think like, all right, why why am I saying these things, right? Am I really saying the truth? Um, and then I've been like really thinking a lot about like how do I, get this message across without sounding like oh yeah like it doesn't matter how well you draw um you like i or like being discouraging to someone um because a lot of us a lot of people want to be the character designer and um and i feel like that is just not very realistic because like I feel like all of us <laughs> want to be a character designer. Um and a, a true, making... true. yeah. <laughs> so but it is as important to fill out a world in, in like that you're trying to to create, right? And I feel like 
getting that into people's head that is like this is equally as important um because if there's no base there is no nothing and i need you to think as a designer and i need you to make these decisions without being too married to one idea at first like you need to explore and experience and and learn about a lot of things because like those like um like common knowledge of other things will help you a lot in life um or like doing as an artist and as a designer um like um maybe you don't like art history but a lot of times like there's a lot of <clears throat> very interesting points of views that a lot of like art um art um what are they called like isms um a lot of art um yeah yeah like they they they're very interesting and they like take a lot of like point of views that maybe help you create something interesting too and you can like resource from what's out there um so yeah I, I, it's been a really really good experience uh like I, I i'm really excited for what people's coming up with um in our like projects that we're trying to make for the and 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 everyone's like really nice to hang out around um i feel like the biggest thing is just like i'm scared that i not going to be able to teach them because they are so good already at art. <laughs> so I feel like that's like the only thing that's been like on my head a lot is like, oh no, what are you going to tell all of these people? They're so good. Um, they're, they no. they probably know all this. <laughs> it's it's like, well, like, what can no, I it's... teach them? They're so good already, you know? it's Yeah, yeah, something like that. So I'm trying to think about like these maybe not technical skills that I can teach them, but these other concepts that I learned from being a designer, an editorial designer, and, and like to bring this out into like communication, visual communication and a visual language that I that I've been having a lot of fun with. Okay, so, yeah. well, yeah, well, that was my last question. So if you if you have any closing Ooh. statements and uh, you want to say anything to the people listening. Um, no, I feel thank you so much for for letting letting me like uh, no, no, Miguel, you're the first person on this list, dude. First person. Yeah, thank you so much. You're <laughs> Sure, dude, dude. Like, I didn't thought like you were gonna ask me until you were like, "Hey, I'm trying to put this together. You wanna?" I'm like, "Yeah, hell yeah." Cause, yeah. Cause we need, we need. I knew, I knew this was gonna be. We needed a strong opener. You feel me? Just to get everything rolling. Wow. <laughs> so, a hey, good job today, Migu. So, anyway, too kind, too kind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, to those listening, thank you for listening. This has been Open Mic at Open Animation, and I would like to thank my guest again, Miku here, and bye. Goodbye.